Today is Friday, and today I normally go garage sailing, but unfortunately, Hello everybody, it's your boy Ronnie Bizzle coming to you with another video from Casa de Bizzle. Um, today is Friday, and today I normally go garage sailing, but unfortunately, there wasn't any garage sales within my area. So I decided to do something a little different today. We're going to head to a couple of thrift stores, two to be exact, uh, Desert Industries and the Salvation Army and maybe another thrift store if I have enough time. So hopefully at these uh, thrift stores, I can be able to find some deals and um, try to find some stuff that has some value that I can either resell on eBay or keep for myself. So let's head out and uh, instead of going garage selling, let's do a little thrifting. All right, guys, as you can see, this is one of the reasons why there are no garage sales today because it's raining here in Vegas. But that's not going to stop your boy, Ronnie Bizzle, from trying to find some deals. We're over here at Desert Industries. Uh, one, this is probably my favorite thrift stores. Although lately, the thrift store hasn't been really good because they've actually raised some of the prices. So I'm a, li I'm, a, I'm a little more picky about getting stuff in here. But there's always some great stuff in here. So let's go inside so we can find some deals. All right, right off the bat, I found this uh, really cool new at Tags. Buffalo Sabres uh, hoodie. Um, this thrift store is a little notorious for overpricing their uh, sports jerseys. I know they had a um, couple of jerseys that were on sale for like $50. I wish I would have showed you what they uh, look like, but they had it for $50. So I normally stay away from the jerseys, but sometimes you come across new stuff like this one, the, the Buffalo Sabres NHL team, and I picked this up for $12. So the next thing I found is another sports memorabilia jersey. This is a uh, Philadelphia 76ers Majestic Hardwood Classic. I think it's like a, a warm-up pullover jersey. Um, I was very, very surprised it was $8. And I actually looked it over because generally speaking, when jerseys and sports stuff is low, priced low like this, um, I like to look it over, make sure there's no flaws. And I did a really good inspection on it and saw there wasn't any flaws on this. So I picked this up for $8. And this should, because of the team, which is our Philadelphia 76ers, which is a very popular NBA team, it, I think, and, and of course, with the size, I think it can go for $40 to $60. All right, here's an example of a brand that even if it's new at tags, um, it's not a good um, brand to pick up. This is a Mark Anthony like a um, like a Henley um, long sleeve sweater. Um, Mark Anthony is a brand that's usually sold in like Kohl's. And in my experience is reselling clothing, anything that usually sells at Kohl's usually is, doesn't really have much resale value because it's very much mass produced. So even though this is a five bucks and it was brand new with tags, and I just think, and, I, and looking over the comms, I just did not think this was worth the time, the effort to spend five bucks or something that probably sell for like 15 bucks brand new. So I uh, skipped this and passed. So I came across this uh, Tundra sweater. Um, this is not the Tundra sweater that's really popular. That's really has a um, ton of value. Um, the one, the sweater you want to look for in this brand is the old 90s Biggie Smalls Cosby sweater, they call it. It's like this really like 3D um, visual, really bright colors, really sharp design. Um, those are the ones you got to look for. Those go for like 100 bucks. Um, this jersey, this um, sweater, um, as it stands, it's probably only worth like 30 bucks. But I paid five bucks for this. And um, if I write the keywords correctly for this sweater, this should go for pretty decent money. Came across this Armani Exchange black pullover with the uh, faux uh, leather sleeves. This is really, really nice. It actually has the uh, spell out in the back of this uh, pullover. And for $8, once again, with a pretty known brand, very popular brand, I um, was a little skeptical. So I did a quick uh, re look at the item itself, looking for flaws. No flaws at all. So I was very, very surprised this was only going for $8. Um, right now, Armani Exchange is a little hit or miss. Some stuff can go for really big money. Some don't. Um, this one in particular, when I did the comps on it, um, I didn't see the exact model for this type of jacket. So I'm going to price this to the moon, probably 60 to 70 bucks, and see what, what I can get. 
And of course I can lower it if I don't get any bites. But yeah, I mean, Armani Ex Exchange still has a little value, still has a lot of name recognition. So I think for now, because it just, I love the design of it. I think I can get some pretty decent money for it. So lately I've been doing a lot of research on um, small restaurant merchandise. Um, um, restaurants that are bars that uh, only exist in, in a city. Like there's only one of them, not a franchise one like Applebee's or Chili's. And I know that some of these, um, these small restaurant merchandise can go for some serious money, especially if it's in the tourist spot or it's popular among people that come into that city. Anyways, uh, I came across this Big Kahuna Cafe shirt. This is a uh, grill bar in Panama City, Florida. And um, I don't think it exists anymore, if I remember correctly. So that's another reason why this has a little bit of value. And uh, really, really good condition. I paid $2 for this. And um, yeah, I'm trying out different things, see if this will work. And uh, hopefully... There's some out there who went to the uh, Big Kahuna Cafe and want a t-shirt from that uh, restaurant. Um, for, a rest for merchandise like this, it's probably going to be a little long tail. But all I got to do is find the right person that's looking for it and it shall uh, sell rather quick. So even though this is long tail, I'm probably going to price this high and uh, see what happens. So here's another example of a restaurant that's only found in a certain city and I think has tremendous value. This is a Chewy's um, Tex-Mex restaurant shirt. This is from Austin, Texas, dated 1996. So, wow, that's what, 24 years old, 24 year old shirt. Anyways, the shirt is in like pristine condition. There was no marks, no stains, nothing. And um, I couldn't find the exact comp for this shirt, but there's a similar shirt from the same restaurant used. Uh, from 1998 that went for like $75. So I was pretty, pretty happy with this find. Once again, this is going to be a long-term, I'm sorry, long-term, a long tail item that has, has to have a specific buyer looking for it. So I'm hoping that um, someone will look, for, will look for a shirt like this and buy it. Um, I'm, once again, I'm probably going to price this high because uh, I only paid two bucks for it and I just feel there's some value in there. And... Um, it's not going to cost me that much to store it. I'll just stick it in a box or whatever. And uh, when it sells, I just pull it out and then ship it. Love buying Hawaiian shirts. I absolutely do love buying Hawaiian shirts. This is a Tory Richard. Um, Tory Richard is a pretty high-end Hawaiian brand. You can usually find these at Nordstrom's. Um, brand new, these shirts go for like $70 to $100. Um, the shirts you want to look for in this brand are kind of the vintage -y look. Um, it's, um, like a certain design like if you can find tory richard um in collaboration with harley davidson that goes for really really good money um that being said this one right here this is made in the usa it's actually viscose so it's actually more valuable than their cotton brand cotton line i'm sorry so with the design here um i think i can get some pretty decent money plus this is a current uh tory richard tag so i'm probably at prices at 20 to 25 dollars probably won't sell right away because it's winter but in the summertime um this this shirt should sell pretty quickly here's a pretty cool brand that i actually paid up for this is a peter millar summer comfort uh golf polo shirt um peter millar is kind of a brand that for some reason either sells really cheap or really really expensive and i know the summer the summer comfort shirts go for really really good money it's kind of the uh, the wicker golf shirt it's really really comfortable i actually have a couple myself that i kept and they just they're just so comfortable to wear and i actually love them and i understand why there's so much value in these in these pillar peter millar comfort shirts summer comfort shirts so that's why i paid up seven dollars for this um, really good condition. It does have a, a golf logo on it. Um, I did some research. I'm not sure what golf course is from, but I know that if you get a Peter Millar summer comfort shirt in a like popular golf course, they can go for really, really good money. So look out for the Peter Millar summer comfort. They go for pretty decent money. Here is a brand that I really, really love selling. Not so much that it sells for a lot of money, but for some reason, this brand always sells quickly for me. This is a brand called Cinch. This is a Western cowboy brand. They make these really cool cowboy shirts with these crazy designs. The, the Western cowboy people, they actually love this. If you ever go to a rodeo, 
this is what they wear. This is what they love. And um, they always sell for me. Um, like I said, I, you won't get really big money for these. I mean, this was a 2X, so because of the size, I might get a little, maybe 25 to 30 bucks. But, you know, they will sell quick. And so I paid five bucks for this, knowing the fact that because it's in very, very good condition uh, and we're, with a really cool design, that this will sell rather quick. So, so look for this brand, um, Cinch. Okay, guys, probably my best find from this thrift store is this thing where I did not know anything about it when I first saw it. This is a Kodo. This is a simple music player for Dementia um, patients. Uh, what happens is you uh, download music into this um, this device and the person with the Dementia pushes this button on top of the item and it plays the music that you download. So it's really cool. When I first saw it, the design really struck me first. It has kind of that mid-century modern look to it. Just really, really nice looking item. So I picked it up and went, went on my phone, did some research, and I saw that this these type of devices can go for over $100. Um, this one in particular, the Kodo, goes for around $130 brand new. I didn't test it out when I was there, which I probably should have, but I figured for eight bucks is really worth the risk. And I came home and um, hooked it up and it worked. So really, really happy with that. Um, there's a couple of scratches on it, which shouldn't be an issue. Um, as long as the device works, I think uh, it'll sell well. So very, very, very happy with what I got. So it just shows you that even if you don't have any knowledge of a, on a particular item, you can do the research right there at the thrift store, try to find what is what what is worth what it is what the item is and then pick it up if you think um there's value in it so really really happy with this pickup really really cool so i knew about this uh football helmet brand shut and i know that some of these go for really really good money um a little bit of a rough shape as far as like there's a lot of sh um, scratches and marks on it but i still picked it up because there's no cracks in it so all you really gotta do is kind of clean this up and it'll look well um, the symbol on here, which HC, and I had no clue what it was. I thought it was Holy Cross University, but no, the emblem on this helmet did not match the logo on the website. So I know it's not Holy Cross. So it's probably some high school team or maybe a, a small college team, but I still picked it up because it's only $8. And, uh, so I'm still good. I haven't put this up on eBay yet. Um, I gotta do some research to find what this HC is. So if anybody out there knows what this HC symbol stands for, please leave a comment below. All right, guys, just got out of Desert Industries. Very happy with what I got today. I spent $76.50 for everything in there. Got some really, really cool pieces. I think that radio, that cool mid-century modern looking radio is probably gonna be the score. Um, the comps are going for like 70 to hundred dollars. I didn't test it, but, uh, I think even if it doesn't work, uh, I should get like 40, 50 bucks. So either way, I'm very, very happy. And of course the other stuff that I pick up, the Armani jacket, the Buffalo Sabres hoodie, and the other clothing that will, um, go into my eBay store. A lot of value in there, a lot of good stuff in there. And, um, I'm very happy with, uh, Des Industries. For some reason, this, cause this, uh, there it goes that thrift store always comes through for me <laughs> so anyways let's head out to the next um thrift store which will be salvation army all right guys made to the next thrift store we are here uh the salvation army family store this place is uh kind of hit or miss so we'll see what they have um and uh trying to find some deals right let's go find some deals All right, guys, very slim pickings in there. Only got one bag, three items. Apparently there was a uh, $2 sale for all clothing. So it was packed with people with like carts of clothing. So unfortunately I got her late and I think this place has been picked over. So didn't get too much stuff, but I got, I got a few things. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you know, when there's no garage sales out there, you have to make do. And the next best thing is thrift stores. And uh, today, actually, overall, I did really, really well. So very happy with everything that I got. So, you know, when when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Is that what they say?
<laughs> so anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to see more of these type of videos, hit that subscribe button. And of course, share the word of your boy, Ronnie Bizzle, with your friends by sharing the channel. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. For your boy, Ronnie Bizzle. See you next time.